At about 10.30 p.m. on October 26th, 1642, the Inquisition arrest Lamport and throw him into prison. His accusers have accused him of having a pact with the devil. But the real reasons of Lamport's arrest are political. He faces a lengthy trial. And it's from the trial record that Riva Palacio writes his popular novel that might have led to the inspiration of the character of Zorro. While in prison, Lamport claims that he is an agent of the King of Spain. But weeks lead into months. None of Lamport's contacts in Madrid or friends in Mexico are able to support him. His only confidant is a new cellmate, Diego Pinto. Secretly, Lamport begins to write denunciations of the reasons for his imprisonment. He makes his own ink by gathering smoke from a candle and mixing it with water. For a pen, he uses the quill of a goose feather. For paper, he pastes together cigarette papers. Incredibly, these documents survive today. In them, Lamport challenges the legality of his imprisonment. He outlines the torture and corruption of the Inquisition. He appears before the Inquisitors numerous times, but his pleas of innocence are ignored. After eight years, he decides to take matters into his own hands. Christmas Day, 1650, the Inquisition prison in Mexico. High walls surround the complex like a fortress. Heavy doors and a locked iron gate blocks the corridor exits, and small cells keep the prisoners confined. With the help of his cellmate, Pinto, Lamport makes his move. They climb through the cell window. Once out of the cell, Lamport and his accomplice appear to ghost their way through a locked iron gate. They then scale the prison walls to freedom, leaving no trace of their actions behind them. That night, Lamport spreads his pamphlets throughout the city and even places a poster on the door of the cathedral. To the Inquisition, Lamport's escape appears to confound the laws of God. And this may be the reason behind this spectacular manner of his escape to further question the Inquisition's holy authority.